video is an instructional video showing you how to set up your face painting flag banners. If you had them customized, you're gonna set it up the same exact way. So your flag is going to arrive in this carrying bag, okay? Uh, the total weight of the carrying bag is about five pounds, okay? It has a handle um, and a strap, so very easy to handle, very easy to carry. Then inside, you are going to find a couple of things. The first is a floor stand. Uh, all you're going to do is just separate the legs just like this to create an X and this will be your floor stand if you choose to use the floor as your means to set it up. You will also find this silver package inside. This is a water weight that you can add, you can fill with water or sand to add for extra weight on top of your flag. So that's what this pouch is, okay? So you would just um, take it out and you'll see that it is like um, a tire or a tube and you can fill it up with, like I said, sand or water via uh, this holder. And then you would place it over the base, just like this for extra added weight. Okay, make sure you always secure your flags. The last thing that you want is somebody getting hurt. So if you're in a very windy situation, just take that into consideration, use your best judgment. We cannot be responsible for improper use or improper securing. Then you will find your actual flag inside of the top flap. And we're gonna set this up in just a moment. The flag material is waterproof, fade resistant. Um, it's double-sided, a great thick fabric so that you can use it for years to come. You can machine wash it very gentle um, and let it dry flat and you will have no problems at all. You will also find a grass stake inside, okay? So the sharper end, which is still not very sharp, um, goes directly into the grass and your pole will fit directly on top of this, thus securing it in the grass. What I do is I suggest taking this and sticking it into a firm spot on the ground before you assemble your flag. Uh, that way you're not struggling with the wind um, and toppling over. You will also receive four poles with your flag. And for me, the best way to set up my flag, which is a one person job, is to just lay everything out on a flat surface. So you're gonna want, these flags are 14 feet, so you're gonna want a significant surface, but it makes it a lot easier to thread the flag and um, to, to be able to set it up. So with your poles, all you're going to do is the first pole is the pole that has um, this adapter on it, okay? So it is a piece where you can adjust this lever to make it go up and down depending on how wide you want the banner stretch. Um, it's gonna come with a setting, just leave it where it is. If you need to adjust it, you can. There's just a little knob on it and you can make it tighter and slide it up and down. At the top of that pole is a silver piece that is a minimizer, so it's going to fit directly into your next pole. Just like this, there's no twisting, no tools. After. And you look for the next smallest pole and you're just going to stick that into the end as well. Just like that. Now the last and final piece is this very thin piece. And it's very flexible because this is the tip of your flag. Notice your flag curves. So you just wanna make sure that this is the last piece that you put in. So this is the final piece that just goes directly into the top. So you'll see this will be the top. Then you're going to take your flag. You will also find a little bungee cord. This is a stretchy piece of elastic. This piece will be secured to the end of your flag where there's two grommets. All you're going to do is just thread it through on each side, just like this. And at the end of it, I like to tie a knot. This knot, and you make it pretty tight, at the end of the first pole, on this connector piece right here, there's a little grivet, 
or a little groove. You're gonna take this and you're gonna slide it in there once you get your banner assembled and it's up in the air. That way it's an extra securing piece so that the, the banner doesn't flow like crazy and holds into place. And at the bottom of the flag where the grommets are, there is a little hole. And in that hole is where you begin to thread your flag. Now, as you can see, our studio ceilings are not 14 feet tall, so I'm unable to show you it fully set up, but there will be a picture at the end of this video to show you what it looks like. Once you have all of your, um, once you have your banner fully threaded, you're going to connect the bungee cord and the stretchy cord to the end of your, um, you're gonna slide it through this little grivet right here to secure the extra piece and place on the base. Then you will have set up, fully set up your face painting or your custom flags. We hope, hope that you enjoy your banner. If you would like a custom banner made, yes, we do those, we offer that. All you have to do is send us your artwork that's ready for print and we can have a custom banner made for you with your logo, with your company, with anything that you would like on it. If you need help designing it, we also work with tons of amazing graphic artists. So just give us an email or give us a call today at Silly Farm so you can add some amazing professional signage to your booth and to your business today. As always, we love hearing from you, so you can reach out to us and call us anytime. We hope you have a great day.